Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, hello. hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you for being on time. Okay, we have 10 participants right now. Let's wait for the rest. Let's see who else. Okay, so we are Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, yes. se me había, me había quedado freeze en la pantalla, veía yo, pero no sé por qué. Creo que es mi inter. Um, so just in case, voy a tener aquí el link cerca, pero mi teléfono está dándome error. Lo voy a reiniciar por cualquier cosa. So in case if I have issues with the computer because it's so slow, 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 slow. So welcome for the ones that are joining. Thank you, Carla, for being on time. Astrid, Achel, uh, Fidel, you were the very, very first ones on the meeting. Uh, thank you, Eneida, welcome. Jessica, Hilda, Harbor, Edwin, Irene, Elizabeth, Harold, Diana, Daniel. So welcome, let's start. Uh, by the way, uh, my mistake, right, uh, I was, thinking about having class tomorrow. Okay, you said, sí, me <laughs> Okay, but no, it's today, it's the last day. I was like, oh my God. And then I was, I was checking my, my notes and everything and that, that's true, it's today, it's the last day. In my mind, I was confused and I was thinking on Thursdays, you know, the whole week. But I'm sorry, okay, that was my mistake. So today is the last day for classes, okay? So today we are going to finish uh, with all the activities. Menos mal que ya solo nos quedan como cuatro exercises que yo dije ni nos van a alcanzar para llegar hasta jueves, right? Pero then today in the morning when I saw the message, I was like, oh, yo les había dicho jueves. <laughs> okay, so, pero yo por eso no dije nada. <laughs> So, yo dije, si yo digo que me había equivocado, so I will get in trouble. So, entonces, um, my mistake, okay? I was confused. I don't know why, but I was thinking to have class tomorrow. Es que ya ven, es que tanto que, que yo quiero seguir con ustedes que ya hasta, pues sí, este, quiero dar extra class, extra con ustedes. ¿Y hasta cuándo llegamos, teacher? Today. Ahora, qué barbaridad. Yes. <laughs> Yo quería seguir aprendiendo más. I know, Daniel, but it's uh, no. it's too late. It's too late, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, my phone it's got issues cuando uh, me da cosa cuando el teléfono dice que está full, 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 full of memory and you start erasing, 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 and then so you are not able to use the phone. Okay. Now I'm receiving this message that says that I have to erase 
and I did it, but I have to raise more. So let's start. Let's start with the attendance uh, today. So I guess that we are done with the um, with the uh, uh, platform, the homeworks, and everything that we have right there. So um, ya estamos ahí completos. So let me let me let me have the attendance right here let me search for the the wow well, here it is okay so today is the last date today is wednesday um ah uh, yes today is 28th okay so let's see anna astrid i'm here teacher Thank you. Um, then we have uh, Ana Bernarda. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina. No. Um, Ana Lisbeth. I'm here teacher. Thank you. Ana Miriam. Ana Miriam, no. Ana Victoria, no. Um, Angie Elizabeth, Angie, Angie Elizabeth, me parece ver que estaba ahí. Hello, hello, Angie, no. Bueno, vamos a ver al día. Um, Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you. Sí, ahí vi que estaba. Eh, then we have uh, Cindy Arely. No. Uh, Cordelia. Present miss. Thank you, Cordelia. Daniel. Daniel, I know that you are there. Present teacher, present teacher. Present, Thank present, you. present. Thank you. Diana Lisbeth. Diana. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Doris uh, Maricela. No. Edwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin. So yesterday you were not here, right? Edwin? Okay. Okay, so HL, I know you are teacher. there. Thank you. And Ada Patricia. I saw Ada. Um, then we have um, Eugenia Asuncion. Thank you. I know you I are am. there. Fidel. Thank you, Fidel. Um, Francisco, Francisco Javier, no, okay, uh, German Mejia, German, no, uh, Glenda Annette, present teacher, thank you. Uh, Harold Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Harold. Uh, then we have Herbert Douglas. Present Herbert. teacher. Okay, thank you, Herbert. Uh, Hilda Milagro. Here, no. teacher. Um, Ingrid Xiomara. Present, Miss. Thank you. Then we have um, Irene Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Jaime. Jaime. Jaime desapareció estos últimos días. No sé qué le habrá pasado. Uh, Jefferson Mauricio. No. Jessica Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay. So, do I mention all of you? Alguien que no haya mencionado? Okay. 
So uh, let's continue. So thank you, M. Uh, let me let me um, thank you for the cameras. M. Uh, remember that to pass the course is now something that I will be able to decide. Okay, for me, all of you passed. Okay, because you are learning, but um, who it's going to be able to see if you pass the course or not. So that will be the score that you have in the platform plus the time that you have in the classes, okay? So they mentioned uh, very, very clear that since the very beginning, okay? That's not something that you don't know, that's something new. You were aware, okay? You know what is aware, right? You were aware, yes, aware about uh, the rules, okay, or the terms and conditions. And one of them was that you need to be in classes for 80%, okay? That means que del 100% de todas las jornadas que hemos tenido, que son 16, para ser exactas con la de hoy, so pudo haber faltado a una o a dos, tal vez, tal vez. Okay, so, but, uh, but as I told you, that is not on me, okay? No, I said, ay, es que la teacher a mí no me quería. No, okay? So, in that case, is everything about your time, okay? Your time in the, uh, in the classes, okay? And as I told you, I can have the attendance right there, but if they count the minutes that you were connected in the class, okay? So, they put it there, and at the end, they... Add everything in the in the file, and at the end, esos minutos van a dar un porcentaje. Y ese porcentaje tiene que ser 80 o más, right? So if you are in 100, that means that you were 100% in the class. So just that is just to clarify it, okay? So um, let me uh, share the screen, but uh, I don't know what happened. Just give me one moment. I have a something quick right here with the presentation. This one is the one that I need, the other one. Okay, here it is. So uh, we are going to finish uh, the last exercise that we have. So we will do it really quick because it's just a uh, reading, the reading that we have pending. Did you remember that yesterday we read a, a small paragraph in past? Um, let me see, let me see what happened with this. Okay, now it is right here. So yes, right, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Oh my God, it's too. I don't know what happened with my computer. It's loading, I don't know what. So, pero si ven la pantalla, right? That's right, teacher. Okay, yes. okay. So yes. look, I don't know what is loading, but uh, so we finished yesterday with a reading. Did you remember the reading? Yes. Okay, what was the name of the reading? Did you remember the name? Mm. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Yesterday, okay, yesterday. And what was the reading about? Let's see, Jessica, did you remember the reading, the small and short reading? <clears throat> We're going to close this because I don't know what happened. Aha, uh -huh, Jessica? Del párrafo de ayer. Exactly. Uh, Did you remember what was about? Bueno, yo anoté unas palabras que son las como las más difíciles. Ah, okay. Or probably new words for you, right? 
Yes. Okay, which ones are they? Bueno, las palabras que tengo son uh, a padre, uh -huh. a padre, and armless. Okay, a appeared. Okay, appeared and harmless. Okay, harmless. Perfect. Okay, so based on this reading, so let's do like um. Oh my God, who is doing drawings right here? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I don't know what happened with my computer. It's so 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 slowed. Glenda, that's you. Oh my God, one more time. I don't know what happened. That's an error from Microsoft Windows. Okay, so um, let's see. I will try to read them in, in the time that we have the normal computer. Oh my God, it's there. So it says, Yesterday was a nice day. The weather was great. Uh, it was a warm sunny day. It was on a small it was on a small trip with my family. My sister was super happy. We were playing in the park when some birds appeared. My mother was a little worried, but the but my father was cool. He was calm because he knew those birds were harmless. The park was green and clean. It was a beautiful, it was uh, one of the best dates of my life, okay? So uh, that was the reading. And we have a couple of questions. Let's see, Cordelia, number one. This is true or false, okay? You will mention if the... Um, if the uh, sentence it's a uh, true or false based on the <clears throat> on the paragraph. So, number one, please. They were at the beach. Okay, it's true or false. Uh, true. It's true. Okay, let's see, let's see, Hilda Milagro. It's false. It's false, false. okay, they were at the beach. Mm, where no. they were? Look, at listen the, the question. Park, where at the park. At the park. They, complete they were answer. to the park. Perfect, complete answers. They were in the park, okay? They, they were in the in the park, okay? Thank you, uh, Glenda. So let's continue, let's continue. Uh, it says right here, um, number two, let's see, number two will be for Glenda Portillo. His mother was a little warrior. Mm -hmm. That is true or false? A warrior eh, is um, eh, problemática, no sé, así es. Mm, preocupado. Exacto. Preocupado. Warrior. False. It's false. 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 Okay. Mm, what about you, Lisbeth Alvarado? What do you think? His mother was a little worried. It's true or false? I think true. Okay, it's perfect. True. Thank you, Lisbeth. Yeah, it is true, Glenda. It is true because they mentioned that, okay. yes, that she was a little worried because of the birds. Okay, the birds that work in the park. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. In the next one, Astrid Mancia. The next one. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. This one. Uh, they were playing in the park. Okay, that's true or false? True. It's true, okay, perfect, nice. Eneida, Patricia, the next one. 
His father was calm. He is calm. He is calm. Okay. His father was calm. You say false. What do you think, Ana Guerra? False or true? True. It's true. Okay. It's true. true. Yes. Because his father, the one that was worried, was uh, his mother, right? But his father was cool, relaxed. Okay. Nice. Harold, the next one. Harold, this one. They were was tall and cloudy. Is um true. Okay, the weather was cold and cloudy. Okay. Uh, so cloudy. okay, it says right here warm and sunny. So that means that is false, right? It's false. The weather was not uh cold, okay, it was sunny. And the last one, okay, the last one would be for a tail. Okay, his father was calm. It's okay. true. It's true, okay, it's true. Perfect, nice. Okay, so just let me uh, clear the screen. No sé si ustedes ven ahí, yo veo que está. Let me share the screen one more time. <laughs> Okay, so let me, let me, let me, let me see. Okay, let's make it bigger one more time for you to see it bigger. And we will do the last activity, okay? So we are almost in the end. So the last activity, it's about this uh, model objective 5.13. Uh, and is uh, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning, reading for a specific information and sequencing events, okay? So uh, skills, did you remember this word? Esta ya la habíamos visto, ¿se acuerdan? Skills, uh, Daniel, what is the skills? Hi, teacher, I don't remember, sorry. Ok, Uy, por allá ay. por la unidad 2. Sí, hombre, tenemos. qué barbaridad. Es este, Ajá, temas, Carla. temas, no. Ok. Habilidades. Ay, qué Ana. barbaridad. Sorry, sorry. Skills. O ya no se les va a olvidar. Ok, Daniel. So remember. Ya no, teacher. <laughs> remember every time that we have something new, put it in your mind. In your mind ok. So develop skills. In scanning. ¿Qué dijimos que era scanning? Chequear. Exactly. It's just like a take a look, right? Es como una, una mirada así rápida. Un scanning. Usted sh, sh, ya. Okay. So that means that we will be able to read a specific information. Usted ve el, el gran párrafo. Y no es que lo voy a leer todo. Si usted le dice en scanning, es que le va a echar una vista y ver ideas principales. And that's it. Ok. And sequencing events. Ok. So we have the reading about Ricky Martin. Ok. It says, scan the article. What three cities did Ricky Martin live in? Ok. So uh, we are going to have volunteers. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Irene, Irene Beatriz. Okay, so you are going to read from this part to this one, okay? So, lleven la lectura because I don't know who's next, okay? So, Irene, go ahead. Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico in December uh, 24th. 87 one he was always a performer as a child he appeared no sé cómo se pronuncia appeared 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 in television commercial and studied singing 
Sí. Okay. Thank you, Irene. So Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay. So on December 24th, okay, 24th, in 1971, uh, he was always a performer. As a child, he appears in television commercials and studied singing. Okay, so do we have any new work in this paragraph, in this part? Performer es como presentador, teacher. Mm, Presentación. Not really. He was always a performer. performer. He was always a, a, a performer means that he was always like in the top. Okay, so for example, in the class, at the end of the year, uh, the, the, because of the grades or because of your scores, the, they receive a medal or they, uh, they receive a, an award or a present or something. Oh, you are the first place in the class. You are the second place. You are the third place. Okay, so that means that day three are the performers. Sobresaliente. Exactly. Como sobresaliente. Exactly, okay. okay, he was a performer, that means que en todo lo que él hacía, él sobresalía, okay, talking about music, about, you know, commercials and blah, blah, okay, so uh, I guess that's the only new work, do we have something else? No? Teacher, for me not. Just, just to say something about that. Uh -huh. Performance, performance is like a, a showman. He was a very, very, um, how do you say, involucrate? Yes, exists that word. Involved. Involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, involved on, on TV commercials uh, and, and things. Exactly, exactly. That's that's uh, the meaning. But just the word performing, performer means that, that he was like, you know, excellent. Okay, he was Artist. very, exactly. He was a very, very a successful person regarding the TV and singing and all the, you know, uh, activities that are regarding TV or, or music. Okay, nice. Edwin Garcia. Please read the second paragraph. Okay. At the age of 12, he, he joined the Latin boy, but mute. he worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five, five years. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Nice. At the age of 12, okay, he joined the Latin boy band. Okay, Menudo. Did you remember Menudo? He worked hard with them and he became very well known, but he left the group after five years. So that means that uh, he was part of this band, right? So it was very, very famous, okay? So he started singing in that uh, band. Do we have any new work? Mm, no, right? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carla, Raquel Moreno, read the next paragraph, please, this one. Okay. Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't, didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, so he moved to Mexico City and got a part of Mexican soap opera. So afterward, and record two Spanish language albums. After this search, he moved back to USA. Okay, thank you, Carla. Okay, it says, Martin moved to New York City, but he didn't work for a year. He was very frustrated, okay? He was very frustrated, okay? 
So okay. he moved to Mexico City and got a part of a Mexican soap opera. Soon afterwards, he recorded two Spanish language albums. After his success, he moved back to the US. Do we have new words right here? Afterward, teacher. Afterward. Afterwards, that is um that is a linking work. Okay, that is a word that we used uh, to link or to compound a paragraph. Like in Spanish, we say adicionalmente cuando usted está escribiendo una carta. Adicionalmente le pido por favor y también además son palabras que nosotros usamos de enlace. Para okay. unir, para enlaces, so, exactly, okay. Exactly, exactly. So Some after, after war. After war, soon. De, ah, es como que yo diga, después Pero, de eso. Okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There ah, you okay. go. Okay, it's a link. En, Mexi word. en Mexican soap opera. Ajá, uh -huh. what is a Mexican soap, opera? soap opera? What is a soap opera? Novela. Novela, ok. Uh, usted dice, Ay, voy a echarme la novela de, la, de las 11, porque las, bueno, de las 10 ustedes, porque salen de la, a las 10 de la clase. So, voy a ver la novela de las 10. So, ya no diga novela, diga soap opera. Soap opera. Ok, okay that's right, good. No es novel. Algunos dicen, Ay, es que voy a ver la novel. Eso no es una, una telenovela. Novel es un libro, ¿verdad? Una, un libro, una novela una que novela, se ha escrito. novela escrita. Exacto, there you go. So, soap opera, that is ahí cuando se pegan y se dan de cachetadas y esa es la soap opera, right? So, nice. Oh. Uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, so no. do we have any new work? Frustrated, okay? So, frustrated, that's the pronunciation, okay? Frustrated. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Herbert Douglas, read the next paragraph, please. This one. Back in the US, he appeared on American soap opera and in the Broadway show, Les Travelers. Then he made his first English language album. Thank you. Nice. Back in the US, he appeared on an American soap opera and in the Broadway shop. Okay, Les Miserables, that's the name, okay? Then he made his first English uh, language album, okay? That means that he started singing in Spanish, but then in the US, he started like singing in English as well. Okay, well, and then he was extremely, extremely famous. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Glenda Portillo, the next paragraph. That album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca was on that album. Perfect, thank you. That album was called Ricky Martin, his biggest hit, Living La Vida Loca, was on that album. So that was a very, very famous song, right? So todos la vieron ahí bailando, right? So that was extremely famous, and I guess that is his famous one, song all over his career, I guess. Okay? Now and he is the loca. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, new words? No, right? Sí, que vivió la vida loca. Yeah, he make it in real life. <laughs> okay, so the last one. So Fidel, read us, please, the last one. Okay, now he's famous, famous around the world, but he still work, works hard and he still loves singing as they, as he said, to a reporter for the newspaper USA Today. I want to do this forever. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now he's famous around the world, but he's
he still works hard, okay? He still loves singing. And as he said, to report for the newspaper USA Today, I want to this, I want to do this forever. I want to do this forever. So, and that's true. Ricky Martin always is singing, right? So probably he take like two or three months on vacations, probably. And then he has a new song, but now it's in uh, reggaeton, right? <laughs> Those are the new uh, songs that he has. So new words right here, something that is not clear or everything is fine. Okay, so let's create uh, groups, okay? What we are going to do right now, we have like, I don't know, like five or seven minutes to uh, write down questions in past, okay? So based on the paragraph, so we are going to start uh, writing questions, okay? So I will do like five groups. Voy a hacer unos cinco grupitos nada más, okay? So, and you have to write down questions in past based on the article, okay? For example, where was Ricky Martin born? Oh, he was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay, so uh, how he was as a child? Oh, he was always a performer. Okay, so you can choose, just you can do like one question for each paragraph. Con una pregunta que hagan de cada párrafo, so at least five questions, okay? So in the small groups, you are going to create five questions in past, okay? Acuérdense que todo el, el párrafo, todo está en pasado. So the questions must be in past, okay? So are we clear with the uh, instructions? Yes? Yes, I, I need to take to take a screenshot. For the paragraph, you mean? Yes, teacher. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to create the rooms, okay? Thanks, teacher. So, Thanks, teacher. No problem, Daniel. So I will create five groups, okay? Ahí quedan al azar con quien le toque. Assigned automatically. So remember five questions in simple past, okay? Pueden usar WH questions or with did or was and where. So, but in the past, okay? So let's create the rooms right now. And right here it says open our rooms. There we go. Hello, Glenda, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Glenda.
quién lo está escribiendo. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I'm just visiting the group to see if everything is okay. Yes, okay. okay. We are making uh, questions. Okay, perfect. Nice. Thank you. What older was Ricky Martin when he joined to Menudo? To Menudo. Was older. Was older. ¿Cómo, cómo? How old? What? No, mm -hmm. era, eh? how, how old was? Okay, how old was he when uh -huh. he joined or when he was part of the Menudo's band? How old was? How old he? How old? Older no. Mm, okay. No. How old, how old was Ricky Martin or, or he when he joined to Menudo? When he joined in present, right? Because you have an auxiliary there. Or when he was a part of the bank. Okay, so I will visit a different group. Okay. Thank you. A la que él perteneció. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, a la que él eh, sería integral, creo que, pero ahorita joined. Es que la palabra dat, no, no, ¿cómo escribe? D-H, D-H-A-T. D-A-T-H. Sí. D-H-A-T. Sí, a la que estuvo unido o perteneció. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. Sí, sí. Okay. La respuesta sería it was. It was Latin boy. Band. La respuesta sería he joined the Latin boy band menudo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are almost done, right? So how many questions do you have? Eh questions okay so we have two more minutes okay 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 the number three Latin boy pan menudo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, el otro compa que hizo. Ahí está. Ahí está. Yo como estoy viendo la pantalla, no, 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 no veo. No los puedo ver. Pero veo otra. Uh -huh, another one. So we are we are almost done. Ya casi. Ya casi, teacher. Almost done. Ah, sí, almost done, Eva, teacher. Almost, yeah, almost done. Almost done. Yes. Almost done. Okay. okay. Hello. La otra frase era soon uh, uh, after after soon after after qué, teacher? After words. Así era. After words. After word. Yeah. Soon after word. Además, verdad? Sí va. Exactly. Recapitulando, recapitulando. Va, gracias. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. Eh, why, why, why Ricky Martin ¿Por qué? 
Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Okay, I guess that now we are all uh, in the main in the main uh, room. So let's finish with this. Okay, this is the last activity that we have, and so we are going to use the questions. Okay, so be ready with the questions and be ready with the answers. Okay, I will put right here the article just in case if we need it. Right. So let's see, let's see, let's see, Chairman. Okay, choose one of your classmates and uh, ask one of your questions. Okay, just one. You have five. It's just one to one of your classmates. No, la anoté, teacher. Oh my God! So do it right now. No problem. So cree la pregunta ahorita. No hay problema. Ajá, uh -huh. German, just one question. Permita. Este. What was the Latin boy, perdón, what was the Latin boy band? No, me quedé. No, teacher. Ok, ok. Think about it, ok. Think about it, o que se las pasen ahí las que hicieron. So, Hilda Milagro, go ahead. One question, but choose one uh, class me first. Sorry. Yeah, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the questions that you have. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, Ana Guerra. Okay. When was he born? Okay, when was uh, Ricky Martin or he oh, born? When was uh, Ricky Martin was born in San Juan, Puerto Rico, on perfect. December 24, 1971. Uh, 71. 71. Okay, 71. perfect. Thank you, Anna. Nice. Uh, Diana Lisbeth, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the questions. Diana? Diana, 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 Lisbeth. Creo que se ha quedado freezed. Ah, ok, Diana. Just one of your classmates. Ajá, Diana. Quiero ver. Uh -huh, Diana, just just one. 
Um, Astrid. Okay, so go ahead with your question. Be ready, Astrid. Perdón. Hola, teacher, perdón. Es, uh, how old was I when left the group? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. How old was he, right? How old was he when he joined the group? Can be, okay? How old was he when or he, how old uh -huh. was Ricky Martin when he joined the group Latin band, the, the Latin boy band? How old was he, Angie? Astrid, I'm sorry, Astrid. He, um, he joined the Latin band Menudo. But the question is how old? How old? Um, mm -hmm. um, he was 12. Perfect. Old he all uh, years old. Okay. Years old. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Perfect. He was 12 years old. Nice. Uh, let's see now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Jessica Mancilla, choose one of your classmates and also one of the questions, please. Yo solo las primeras tengo, pero lo puedo hacer ahorita. Okay, okay. So, one of the questions that you have, no importa que ya la hayan. Yes. La que yo tenga. La que yo tenga. Bueno, tengo una, pero no sé si estará buena. When, where, when, where he joined menudo. He was joined menudo. Mm -hmm. But the question says where. Um, it doesn't say that the, the, the place right there. Mm. No, okay, no, because we don't have an, uh, an, a, a place right there where probably went, okay, when he joined the, the band or the group and he, it, was, it was when he was 12 years, okay, but let's see a different question, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, Ana Guerra, go ahead, choose one of your classmates and uh, one of the questions that you have. Lisbeth Alvarado. Go ahead, okay. Lisbeth, be careful. So go ahead, Ana. Yo hago la pregunta, okay? Yes, please. Uh, was, no. What was his biggest hit? Okay. Mm, what was? Can be can be but it would be which one okay which one was his biggest hit which was okay because we have many but many sums but which one Lisbeth which one was his biggest hit uh, his biggest was hit is Living la vida loca. Okay, perfect. Elizabeth, remember that in the past, right? His biggest hit was, okay, living la vida loca. Is es en presente, okay? So, no, ahí I'm acordémonos sorry. del pasado. Ahí lo dijo bien al inicio, pero me le agregó el is. Okay, so, okay. pero he was, his biggest hit was, Living La Vida Loca. Oh, so, Harold, thank you, Lisbeth. Harold, choose You're one welcome. of your classmates and uh, ask the question. Okay. Uh, uh, question is, where was born Ricky Martin? When? Where? Where, ah, okay, yes. where? 
Where was Ricky Martin born? Okay, so that would ah, be, okay. remember, sigamos la estructura, right? The WH, el, 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 el complement. Complement, so at the end, so ah, eso sería el final. Okay, so let's see, Eneida. Where was born Ricky Martin? He was born in San Juan. Okay. Thank you. Okay. He was born in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Okay. So uh, let's see. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't realize about the time. Dios mío, no sé dónde se fue la hora. But uh, we have just a few minutes, okay? We have just a few minutes. And um, I would like to say thank you first, okay, to all of you, especially for the ones that were always on time and always here. Yo sé que hay algunos que por trabajo, por different situations, so we're not like a full tar, uh, time, right, in the, in the class. But... Um, this is a great opportunity, the one that you have, okay? Usted puede, y creo que más de alguno, pues ya lo ha hecho. Usted puede cotizar en cualquier academia, sea famosa, sea grande, sea pequeña, precios y costos, ¿verdad? Para poder aprender un idioma. Y sea que usted tenga la posibilidad de pagarlo o no, es un dinero que se debe de invertir. Eh, Lo que les quiero dar a entender con esto, con este comentario, es que aprovechen esta gran oportunidad que tienen. ¿Por qué? Porque es una, es una forma en la cual ustedes no les está generando un gasto Oops. y sí pueden lograr un aprendizaje. Eh, no sé si de los que están acá... Eh, Están desde el nivel 1, ¿verdad? Principiante 1 y han venido en el 2 y en el 3. Ustedes se pueden evaluar y usted puede analizar y decir, en realidad estoy aprendiendo, en realidad por lo menos ahora yo entiendo algunas cosas. O sea, yo veo que, que algunos eh, se esfuerzan demasiado, bastante y tratan de hablar y, y ocupar el idioma y ese es el objetivo. ¿Verdad? Y, y los animo a que todos seamos así, a que todos tratemos de romper la barrera del miedo, que ay, es que me da pena a mí que no me pregunte la teacher porque ay, yo no quiero y cuando ya voy a preguntar, quitan la cámara y que no me mire. No, usted tenga ahí la cámara y diga a mí que me pregunte a mí, aunque yo me equivoque, pero, pero yo lo quiero hacer porque ese es el objetivo, aprender. Ok, entonces es una oportunidad grande la que ustedes tienen con este programa, ¿verdad? Que, eh, que es una hora, sí, es una hora, pero le dan una plataforma. Les digo, yo he trabajado en diferentes lugares y no cualquier institución le va a dar una plataforma para que usted vaya eh, de manera progresiva avanzando en diferentes ejercicios. Y si se lo dan, pues eso lleva un costo porque hay que mantener esa plataforma, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, le dan un libro en, en digital, se lo dan, pero usted tiene un libro, una guía, ¿verdad? Que si esto lo estuviéramos viendo en, en face to face, también es like, como era antes, pe personal, ¿verdad? Las clases, usted tendría que pagar y adquirir un libro, un costo. Entonces, eh, me quiero despedir con, con esas palabras, animándolos, en serio. Eh, ya se metieron en este rollo del inglés, hoy hágale frente, ¿ok? No diga, ay, no, es que ya cuando la maestra dice esas cosas, <risa> cuando la maestra dice cosas y yo no entiendo, mejor me quedo a dormir. Ya son las nueve de la noche, debería estar dormido, ¿para qué? No, no, no piense como todos. Toda la gente dice eso, ay, es que ya estoy cansado y, y tengo que trabajar y tengo hijos y tengo perro y tengo gato y tengo lo que sea y mejor, ay, no. So, esas son las personas normales que van a tener una vida normal, lo que van a lo que la vida ve. Ay, es que no tengo trabajo, ni modo. Ay, es que 100 dólares me pagan, ni modo. 
So, esas son las personas normales, pero ustedes no pueden, no tienen que ser normales. Uno tiene que ser un poco diferente para lograr hacer cosas diferentes. Eh, he leído por ahí algunos comentarios de, que dicen de que la mentalidad de un latino es, este, bueno, si nadie lo ha hecho, ¿para qué lo voy a hacer yo? Pero la mentalidad de otros países es, si nadie lo ha hecho, yo lo voy a hacer. Ok, yo seré el primero. Entonces usted piense así. Y yo sé que algunos me han, hasta me han escrito, mire, teacher, es que a mí me cuesta, yo quiero, pero este, cuando usted está ahí hablando, yo me quedo todo perdido. Me han descrito, pero ¿qué les he dicho yo? O sea, yo les he dicho, yo así empecé. Y yo empecé peor porque yo no sabía ni qué gato era cat. O sea, yo no sabía nada. Y ustedes tienen muchas palabras eh, que conocen. Entonces, tomen ventaja de eso. No se desanimen. Sigan adelante en eso del aprendizaje y dediquen un tiempo. Yo siempre se los he dicho, sé que son personas ocupadas. No hay ningún vago aquí que no tiene nada que hacer. O sea, son personas que, que trabajan y estudian y cien mil cosas más. Pero dedíquenle al idioma. Si de verdad, de verdad le gusta, este, esfuércese. Siga adelante, no se quede. Eh, si alguien por A o B motivo no llega al requerimiento de horas, no diga, ay, pues ya no sigo. Si viene otra vez otro principiante 3, ¿y qué hay de malo si yo lo repito? Eso es ganancia. Porque yo tal vez algo allá no me quedó claro aquí con este nuevo proceso. Ahora sí me quedó claro. O sea, sea que usted vaya ya principal otro nivel o se quede en este, usted siga. Usted no diga, ay, es que me van a ver en el mismo. ¿Quién le va a decir algo? Y si le dicen algo, ¿a usted qué? ¿Usted es el interesado en aprender? Siga adelante. Así es que gracias en serio por por aguantarme 16 <risa> sesiones, 16 horas que las he disfrutado eh, grande con ustedes y lo poquito que logré conocer de cada uno de ustedes, pues eh, se los agradezco. Yo no tengo así como que guardado en sí los números de cada uno, son 60 personas las que tengo y me escribía uno y a veces le decía, mire, su nombre es del 1 o es del 3 porque tengo varios grupos, right pero, pero ustedes sí tienen mi número y usted me puede escribir en cualquier momento que usted necesite algo. Dinero, no, yo soy pobre, ahí sí yo no les puedo ayudar, ¿verdad? Pero alguna palabra, algún algo, mire, teacher, ¿cómo se está tal cosa? Pregúnteme, usted ahí tenga mi número, si en algún día lo necesita, alguna referencia, este, ahí estoy, ¿verdad? Para poder este, ayudarles en lo que yo pueda. Así es que con eso me despido, ¿verdad? Lastimosamente no tenemos más tiempo, pero no sé si alguien tendrá alguna pregunta, algún comentario antes de terminar la sesión. Dicho ya no va a pasar lista para finalizar. No les digo pues que están emocionadas, que, que, que ya voy a llorar. Vamos a ver, it says Ana Astrid. Ana Astrid, un placer, sí. un, un es, placer, amigo? teacher. Gracias, Ana Guerra. Y para todos ah, también está. los compañeros. Gracias, gracias. Yes, lo mismo para mí, lo mismo para mí. Time, uh, we will ah. with you, teacher, and yeah. with all, all the partners here. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, Ana Cristina, no, verdad? Ana Lisbeth, sí, aquí um, estaba. Ana Guevara, Ana Miriam. No, Ana Victoria. No, Angie Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Sí, usted no le había puesto, no sé qué pasó al inicio. Ah, Carla Raquel. I know that Present, you are there. Miss. Cindy Arely. No. Ah, Cordelia Elizabeth. Por ahí está. Present, Miss. Thank you, Daniel Edgardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Doris Maricela. Doris Maricela, no. Edwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Edgardo. I'm sorry, Edwin HL. I know you are there, Present. HL. Thank you. 
Eneida Patricia, ahí está. Eugenia, ahí está. Fidel, ahí está. Francisco. Francisco Javier, no, right? Francisco Javier. No. Uh, German Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Glenda Annette. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Harold Eduardo, ahí está. Herbert Douglas, Hilda Milagro. Uh, Ingrid Xiomara, yeah. ahí está. Irene Beatriz, ahí está. Jaime, no, ¿verdad? No apareció Jaime. Uh, Jefferson, no. Uh, Jessica Guadalupe, ahí está. Ok, so nice. I'm sorry que ya se me olvidaba, tan emocionada. Okay, so, but that's, that's all, okay? So as I told you, you have, my, you have my number in case if you need something and it was a big pleasure, okay? Continúe, no se desanimen, espero verlos en un futuro, ahí en un avanzado, ¿verdad? Podemos encontrarnos nuevamente. So... Blessing to all. <laughs> Hola. Blessings to all. Okay, blessings. Okay, yeah, blessings for everyone. Thank you so much. Y un gusto, okay? Cuídense mucho y uh, nos saludamos. Primero Dios, pronto. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the next course. In the next course, hopefully we will see you in the next yes. course. <laughs> okay. Good okay. night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.